Tax Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Stadler & Company, the tax pros. Lori is back, and it's Tuesday. We know we're going to see you every Tuesday during tax season. And today we're going to talk about the one thing no one wants to see, the bill. Right? <laughs> if you have to pay and you owe, there are some things to know, correct? Are, yes. All right, starting with, I think this first one was fascinating to me, which is... The IRS can't pay the state, the state can't pay the IRS. The feds and the state stay separate, don't they? Have they have to stay separate. They can only see themselves. Yeah. So, so if someone owes to the state, they, they pay to the state. If they owe to the feds, they pay to the feds, right? That's that right. And a lot of people actually come in and say, can my federal just pay my state? And that it can't happen. They, st they are completely separate. That's exactly right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, now you know that. <laughs> now, when it comes to paying, why should someone not use a cashier's check? A cashier's check is really not trackable. And if they misapply the payment, you want to be able to prove you paid it because the burden of proof is on you. Oh. So the cashier's check you have no way of tracking if you pay by check there's a tracking number on the back and with a copy of that cash check you can track it um, or if you pay electronically online you automatically have a confirmation number right away so so that's a good option as well how often do you see problems can I ask I mean do you see instances where people do have to go back and find that yeah every year there's a few so, wow. Yeah. Well, I guess that's important to know then it because is. you want to be able to trace it. You don't want to give them more than you have to. <laughs> exactly right. What about extensions? Because we hear about extensions with filing your taxes, but you're telling me they don't ex give you any extensions when it comes to paying your taxes. Right. The payment is due when it's due and there's no <laughs> extending that. But you can uh, have that payment, uh, well, you can get that extension for the, the filing. So you don't have to file right away, but you definitely need to get it paid if you think you're going to owe. Uh, that's funny. My watch went off. It must have been my Siri automatically hearing me say I'm paying my taxes. I know it's not fun, Siri. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is for those out there who are in a situation where they really can't pay at that mm -hmm. time, because it happens, right? It does. You owe and you can't pay. What do you do? Well, my first suggestion is pay what you can. Anything you can pay before it's due is going to save you on penalties and interest, because the second it's due, those will start to accrue. Okay, and yeah. then when it comes to those payments as well, there's an option to set up a payment plan. You can. You can set up what's called an installment agreement, and Illinois and Indiana and the IRS will all set up a payment plan for you if it's just more than you can handle all at once. Well, I think that's important for people to know because, yeah. to be honest, if you owe too much, none of us just have that money just sitting around. Yeah, when you see a big number, it can be really overwhelming, and to say, hey, I can break this down into a small monthly payment that I can manage, Okay, it, it can really help. Now, this next one I found interesting because when we were talking about these payments, payment plans, you mentioned that every once in a while, they might actually settle for less than what you owe. It's not likely, but you've seen it happen? Yes, it can happen. It's called an offering compromise, and they're, they're, it's very restricted as to what they will accept, but they do do it, and I have had some of those accepted. But honestly, it's a very limited number. It's only about between 20 and 40 percent that they will they will accept, Okay. and you're tied up for a long time just waiting to find out if they're going to accept it or not. I guess there's not a lot of negotiating with the IRS. Not a whole there? lot. A little <laughs> bit, but not a whole lot. <laughs> Funny how that works out, yeah. And uh, finally, then, we also want to mention, if you do set up a payment plan, mm -hmm. if you owe a lot, it's going to take more to get that done, right? It does. If you owe a substantial amount, you're probably going to end up having to fill out a whole financial uh form and they want to know everything that you have, every penny in every bank, every credit card, every asset you own. And so the more you owe, you're more likely to end up having to fill that out and disclose a lot of information to them and before they'll even set anything up for you. Basically, it's their way of saying, we see you have other ways that you can pay. Right. So you're not getting a payment plan. Just give <laughs> us the money we owe. So yeah, uh, yeah. Exactly. And, and they definitely ask for a lot if you owe a lot, so good information for sure. Yeah. Well, these are the kinds of questions that we hope that we've helped people answer through the course of our, mm -hmm. our tax tips is important details about tax law, how to pay, how to file, how to you know write off things. Mm -hmm. These are the things that you answer every day though, don't you? We do, and a lot of these topics come from the things that I'm hearing every day that, that people are asking, how do I deal with this? How yeah. important is it for people to seek answers versus trying to do it on their own if they have questions. 
Ultimately, if you have questions, it can end up saving you thousands of dollars potentially just to ask the question to a pro. All right. Well, there you go. Visit the website. Um, it is easy to find them at stadlertax.com. Call the number on the screen or scan the QR code. It'll take you right there. But whatever you do, make sure you're getting the help you need so that you don't have to pay the government any more than you should. That's the way I look That's at right. it. That's right. All right. Thank you so much, Lori, and stay with us. We'll be right back.